When it comes to the world of tablets, there is one device that has always stood as the everyman's machine, the classic entry-level iPad. But as we step into 2026, the game has changed. The iPad 12th generation isn't just another budget refresh. It is the moment Apple finally brings the pro future to the masses. For years, the base iPad was the safe choice. The one you bought for school, for your kids, or for casual browsing. But with the iPad 12, Apple has done something they rarely do. They've given the cheapest tablet in their lineup the brain of a flagship. If you've been sitting on an older iPad, waiting for the right moment to upgrade without breaking the bank, you need to listen to every word of this. Because the iPad 12 isn't just a tablet, it's an AI powerhouse that is about to make the iPad Air look like a luxury you don't actually need. Let's talk about the heart of the machine. For a long time, the base iPad was always two steps behind the iPhone in terms of processing power. Not anymore. The biggest shocker coming out of the 2026 supply chain leaks is that the iPad 12 is skipping the leftover chips and moving straight to the A18, or potentially even the A19 silicon. This is the same architecture found in the latest iPhones. Why does this matter for a budget tablet? One word, intelligence. In 2026, Apple intelligence is no longer a beta feature. It is the core of the experience. By putting an A18 class chip inside, Apple is ensuring that their most affordable tablet can handle real-time generative AI, advanced photo editing, and the new supercharged Siri without breaking a sweat. It's a level of future-proofing we've never seen at this price point, but the chip is only half the story. To run Apple intelligence properly, you need RAM. The iPad 11 was limited, but the iPad 12 is rumored to finally jump to 8GB of RAM as the standard. This is a massive win for the USA audience, where multitasking is the name of the game. Whether you're a student with 10 Chrome tabs open alongside a Zoom call and a note-taking app, or a professional managing a side hustle on the go, that 8 gigabytes of RAM means the reloading app, nightmare is finally over. The iPad 12 will feel just as snappy as a MacBook for 90% of what you do every day. Now let's address the elephant in the room. The display. We've all wanted a laminated screen on the base iPad for a decade. We wanted that air gap to disappear so the pixels would sit right against the glass. But here is the reality of 2026. Apple is sticking with the non-laminated 11-inch liquid retina display. I know I know it feels like a letdown, but there is a very specific American reason for this, repairability. The base iPad is the king of the education market. When a student cracks a screen, a non-laminated display is significantly cheaper and easier to fix than a fused pro display. Apple is choosing durability and cost efficiency over aesthetics here. And while it might not look as premium as the Air, your wallet will thank you the first time you accidentally drop it on a tile floor. However, don't think the screen hasn't improved at all. We are hearing reports of a new anti-reflective coating being applied to the iPad 12 for the first time. It's a small tweak that makes a world of difference when you're using your tablet in a bright classroom or outside in the sun. It still hits that 500 nit brightness peak, which is plenty for everything but direct high noon sunlight. It's the practical professional screen. Let's talk about connectivity, because this is where the iPad 12 quietly becomes a beast. 2026 is the year of